Becky Boo here. Welcome to my channel. Today's video, I wanted to really play around with the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette because I got it a couple of days ago. So here's what the inside of the palette looks like. And it does have two mirrors here. I did have to pair it with the Pastel Goth palette because there are not a lot of mattes in this palette. So I just used these two palettes together. I haven't used it enough to give you guys like a full review on it, but I kind of like it so far. I'm not going to talk too much. If you want to see how I got this eye look, then please keep on watching. Alright, so I was starting off with a completely bare eye, and for primer, I'm just using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and spreading that on my lid. I'm not setting that with the shadow or anything because I'm going right in with the Kat Von D Dagger Liquid Lipstick. And I'm using some Luxie Beauty blending brushes for this as I've said before in many other videos a dual fiber brush is great for blending out cream or liquid products so that's what I'm doing I'm just using two different brushes one to kind of apply and blend but then another brush to blend and you just really want to make sure this is nice and blended out and smooth because if this isn't smooth then your eyeshadow definitely isn't going to go on smooth so I'm just setting that with the shadow and now I'm going to be going into the pastel goth palette and I'm taking the shade meow on a fluffier blending brush and I am putting this in my upper crease area as my transition shade. And then I'm just taking a school which is the white from the pastel goth palette. And I'm just going over the brow bone area to kind of make sure they diffuse nicely. So now I'm jumping into the Saint and Sinner palette, opening it up there. And I'm going to start with the shade Exorcism, which is like a deepish purple kind of color. And I'm placing this on the inner and outer thirds of my lip. And then of course going in and blending in between and then going in and layering up that product. So next I'm taking Sabbath from the palette which is a black on a very tiny blending brush and I'm adding this to the inner and outer thirds of my eye as well just to really deepen up those areas <laughs> and then blending again and then I'm just taking my sharp sharp tart shape tape concealer and I'm gonna be cutting out like the center of my eye And then I'm going to be taking Rapture from the palette and placing this in the center of my eye. I did really saturate my brush to make sure this went on really smooth. Otherwise, this is a very like dusty shadow because it's more of like a glittery overlay shadow. But I really love the color, so I really wanted this in the center of my lip. Next I'm taking Cathedral and I'm going to be placing this on like the middle of the inner and outer third shades, you know what I'm saying? So these kind of transition into each other. But I am going to pick up the brush I used before and go over that just to make sure they all blend nicely. We're going to be jumping into the lower lash line and I'm taking the shade Rosary and I am putting this on my lower lash line. And then taking a bit of the shade Worship, and I'm going to be placing this like on the outer third of my lower lash line, just to add a bit of depth. And then I'm taking the shade Heaven, 
and I am placing this on the inner corner of my eye. And then I'm going to be taking the Love Lip Liner and placing this in my waterline. And then to finish off the look, I popped on some Sweetheart Lashes Kylie Lashes. Alright guys, so this is the completed look for my lips. I put on uh, Anastasia's Tulip Liquid Lipstick and then I kind of wanted to tie in the eyes with the lips. So I used Rapture in like the center of my lip. Anyway, if you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Let me know if you want to see more looks using that palette and I will get to that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.